Stop! No enemy of God is allowed to enter the kingdom of God. My lord, I am very sure you mistaken me for another. I can never be an enemy of God. I am Sister Lucy, and my church is the second largest in the world, if not the highest. In my church, righteousness is the everyday sermon. We drink it like water and wear it like cloth, to the point that when I pass, I smell righteous. In fact, I preach it myself. So there is no way I should be the enemy of God, because I am a child of God. I love God, and everyone knows that. Please check again. I am sure you will find out I am telling the truth. Is this the way you love God? Go on, sir. Are you a true believer? Or do you come to church and still live like the world? A true believer experiences a transformation through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. As a true believer, God himself lives within us, leading to a changed life. If your character is still the same as when you have not given your life to Christ, that means you are still of the world. 1 John 1 verses 5 to 7. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. As Christians, we are called to be in the world but not of the world, and to live according to God's values, seeking holiness and righteousness. Matthew 5 verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. The only thing that tells us that we are not of the world is our character or lifestyle. As children of God, we must let others see Jesus in us. It is time to check ourselves and live as children of God, not as enemies of God. If a science 5, verse 8. For at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. When our character speaks negativity against the children of God and hinders those who are trying to give their lives to Christ, it means we have made ourselves enemies of God. Oh God, help your children. This is why we should work on our character. It is the only thing that tells who we are, whether we are of the world or not. It is not the church we attend or how regularly we attend church, but how well our character speaks to sinners. Does it hinder them from repenting? Or does it give them reason to repent? Shall we pray? Oh God, make my character like that of Christ, in Jesus' name. See what a human being is wearing. In Jesus' name, we prayed. Amen. The meeting has ended, and we are free to go home. Sister Grace, wait, don't go yet. I hope there is no problem. Did you see the kind of clothes Sister Mary wore to the church meeting today? Yes, I saw it. What was wrong with the cloth? Didn't you see? How cheap and local the cloth is. In fact, she didn't even iron it. I wonder whether that woman has any shame at all. I don't like the way she dresses. She dresses too local to my liking. In fact, she is dirty. I wonder why she can't buy good clothes. Every time she is wearing cheap clothes to church. But the cloth is okay on her. What matters is that it is neat and covers her properly. Don't say that, please. How can you say it's okay on her? Despite all the money they have, she can't buy a quality cloth. She is too stingy. Stop supporting bad things. We should be concentrating on working on our character to win souls for Christ, not gossiping. Beside, the clothes she wears are her choice and can't be seen as a bad thing. You are the one who is acting badly by gossiping about her, not Sister Mary. When you still gossip after repenting, it means you are still of the world. What makes us not of the world is dropping all those dirty characters we are known for and saying, I used to steal. I steal no more. I used to gossip. I gossip no more. I used to envy. I envy no more. I used to do all manner of sin. I sin no more. That is what we should be working on. We should stop using the little time we have to engage in things that are not our calling. We are called to be different from the world, and that is something we should fight to get. The people of the world are not those who are not going to church as we used to imagine, but those whose characters are dirty. I don't blame you. It is my fault. If I didn't talk to you, I don't think I would receive this insult. Excuse me. I am sorry, 
I don't gossip anymore. Pretender, keep pretending. I am happy that all supporters of evil will have their part in hell. Look at the way she is claiming not to see that the cloth Sister Mary wears to the church meeting today is too cheap. Anyway, that is her business. Let me go and buy what I need first and forget pretenders. Madam, how much do you sell two pieces of glass cup? $280 for the two pieces, but give me 250 You are the first person. Let me use it to open sales. All right, bring it, then give me change. I have 300 with me. All right, please give me a little time. Let me find your change for you. You can also make use of the seat next to you. I won't take your time. Please be fast. Neighbor, please give me $50. Later, I will bring it back. All right. Madam, you said I should come today to collect my change. Where is my change? Oh. Sorry, Ma. You are the one I begged to come today for your change. Yes. All right, take this. Let me find another one for my new customer. Madam, I hope that is not the change I am waiting for that you gave to that old woman. I am sorry, I will bring another one for you. Hers has been since yesterday, which is why I couldn't ask her to wait again. But don't worry, I will just ask my next neighbor. I am sure he will help me out. Spare me that? Please. You asked me to wait. I waited, and you brought the change and gave it to that old woman. Do you think I don't have what I am doing at home, or is it because I humbled myself, or because you see I am a child of God? No, madam, it is not like that. I was supposed to give her this change since yesterday, but I don't have it, so she agreed to come for up today. There is no way I can still turn her down again. You must be out of your mind to think I am listening to that story. You know what? I don't want to buy again, return my money, and take back your goods. You heard me. Madam, please let me just ask my neighbor. I am sure he will help me out. It won't waste time, I promise. It seems you don't understand English. I said I was not buying again. Give me back my money. Try to understand me, please. You are the first person to buy from me. Please let me look for your change. Are you trying me? Is it because I am not as worldly as you are? Listen, if you don't go in there and bring my money out right now, I will forget the fact that I am a child of God and deal with you. In fact, I will scatter this shop right now and here. Madam, please calm down. She will give you your change. Who is this one that looks like a person that comes from the water? Who calls you into this matter, or you think I have time for sinners? Better mind your business. I am a child of God, a devoted Christian, for that matter. I don't speak to those who are of the world. Madam, take it easy. She never said she would not give you the change. She just said you should give her a little time to find it. Be considerate. Shut up, Mr. Man. There is nothing to consider here. She deliberately let me down because I am a child of God, but I will disappoint her. She must give me back my money. I don't want the change again, and that is final. And you, go in there and bring out my money. I am not buying again, except you want me to tear you into pieces and show you my own style of madness. All right, calm down. I will give you your money. Be fast about it, please. See child of God, I hear. Good, as I taught her a lesson so that next time she won't take Christianity for granted. If you keep them silent, they will think they can ride on you, but it will not happen. My God did not say I should be a fool. Thank you, Jesus, for calling me out of the world. The world does not know me because they do not know you. Where is all this transport? Did they go on strike or what? Excuse me, Ma, please. I am looking for number 6A Street. Do you know it? Please direct me. Who are you asking that question? Dress like a prostitute. Do I look like your follow prostitute? You should be asking a question. Take a good look at me. Do I in any way look worldly like you? Ahem. <coughs> look at what you are putting on. You should have gone naked instead of deceiving yourself by thinking you were putting on clothes when you were naked. Madam, please, I did not insult you. Why all this insult? My friend shut up there. 
What connection does light have with darkness? I am the light, and you are the darkness, so how can you insult me? I mean, try it and see fire descends on you. Who dares insult the holy child of God? Anyway, I don't have your time. I can see you are a troublemaker. No, don't go. Stay there and ask me questions. Sinner. If you like, don't go and repent. Hellfire is real, and it is for people like you. If repenting is like you, I would rather remain the way I am. Worldly person. Who cares if you remain that way or not? It is you who will go to hell, not me. Can you imagine what she is putting on, almost naked? Who gave birth to this one? Oh no. Excuse me, madam. Yes, what is it? I hope you are not here for nonsense questions. As you can see, I am a child of God, I am not in the mood for seducers. The character you displayed before that lady you should have corrected in love is more of the world than those you called of the world. You see, when Jesus speaks concerning the world, he doesn't mean that anyone who did not go to church or dress in a Christian manner is of the world. The world he meant is those whose sinful characters are dirty. They are the world. Those who have nothing in them that looks like Christ. They are the world. And also the haters of God, meaning you can be going to church and still be among those that hate God. Yes, if your character hinders those who are trying to give their lives to God from doing so, you are an enemy of God and the church. If your character gives someone reason to speak against the church or Christians, you are the real enemy of the church and Christians. You are more of an enemy than those who speak because you gave them reason to do so. The world are not those who are not your church members or those who do not dress in church ways. The world is identified by character. You can be in a particular church and still be of the world. Unless your character changes like that of Christ, you are still of the world no matter the church you attend. Matthew 5 verse 16 in the same way let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your father who is in heaven that you may be blameless and innocent children of god without blemish in the midst of a corrupt and twisted generation among whom you shine as lights in the world philippians 2 verse 15 again jesus spoke to them saying i am the light of the world whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life john 8 verse 12 is your character light or dark wait if i may ask are you in support of what that woman is putting on i am not saying i support her i said your character displays an enemy of god and the church because no one who sees it will think of repenting we are called to win them over to god not to criticize them condemn them or use abusive words that will make them lost forever i can see you are a bad man for you to look into my face and support evil and still deny it has already shown you are a sinner. It is only sinners who support evil. You know what? Preach to yourself first. You need it more because you are still blinded by sin, and I don't speak with those that cover iniquity. Excuse me. Keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. 1 Peter 2 verse 12 Sinners everywhere. I would rather use my leg, than stay there and listen to the cover of iniquity. Instead of him saying she likes the girl, he is there, talking out of point. Sister Lucy, what is the problem? Who provoked you? Is it not one sinner who leaves all the people to show her sinful nature and come to me? I am so annoyed. You needed to see how she dresses. In fact, she is naked, exposing her body up and down. But you should have preached to her and let her know that her body is the temple of God. Isn't that why we are called? It is to save those who are dying in sin, not to engage in quarrel with them. Who told you she didn't know she was naked? She knows and hardens her heart. She just wants men to lust after her, and I can never preach to a sinner who is looking for a person to infect with her sin. But Sister Lucy. No but, please, my eye cannot behold iniquity. I am holy and will never have anything to do with enemies of God or the church. Beside, when you see a person who needs help, you will know, the lady I saw was on a mission to kill and destroy. But the Holy Spirit in me reproofs and resists her, as it is written in James 4 verse 7. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That is what I just did. All right, where are you coming from? I am coming from church meeting, and you did not come. Why? 
Something came up, so I couldn't come. Backslider. Look at you. You are falling day by day. Don't forget, no backslider will see the kingdom of God. I hope you know, so that when you enter hell, you will not cry. Nobody told me. Sister Lucy, I have not backslided. My faith is still intact. You need not condemn me. Instead, pray for me and encourage me. Encourage you for what, that you don't know the truth that you have fallen? Beside, did I expect you to agree that you have backslided, or have you ever seen a backslider who agrees he or she has backslided? They only use the word. My faith is still intact to deceive themselves, until they fall to the point of no return, and that is what is going to happen to you. Better return back, or see yourself in hell. I reject it in Jesus' name. What kind of statement is that? You are supposed to pray and encourage me not to condemn me. What is condemning in what I just said? You are backsliding, and that is the truth. Accept it so it sets you free. Stop pretending as if you don't know. What I am saying is the truth. Anyway, I don't have your time. Excuse me. You are a backslider, whether you like it or not, and there is no difference between a backslider and the world. Let it stick to you. Children of the world. They hate to hear the truth, but no matter how they reject it, I will keep forcing it on them. Baby, don't forget what you promised me. I will not, I promise. What is going on there? Why are two of you standing outside to show the whole world how sinful you are? We already know you have chosen hell. You don't need to show us where you are going. Madam, please mind your speech. You are not God to condemn us. I am a child of God. A holy one at that matter. I don't need to be God to know you are already in hell. Look at you, kissing and hugging a man outside. I can see how shameful you are, but don't worry, all sinners shall have their part in hell. Don't be surprised. You will be there before me. Christians are called to preach to sinners, correct them in love, pray for them, and not condemn them. See sinner preaching to me? Oh no, I have suffered. Anyway, I don't have your time. Keep deceiving yourself until you find yourself in hell. I don't think you are better than me. Babe, forget about her. She's a troublemaker. Everyone knows her for that. Let us go. What did you just say, me troublemaker? Oh no, oh no, why are you running away? You should have stayed there. Let me show you the style you have not seen. In fact, I need to go to sleep right now so that I can wake up and see righteous people like me. I am tired of seeing sinners here and there. Oh no. If only that boy had not walked away after calling me a troublemaker, I would have tear him into pieces for opening his sinful mouth to call me a troublemaker. No problem, he has escaped today, and I don't think he will next time. Who is of the world, and who is the enemy of God? Many of you see those who are not members of your church as the world, or those who don't go to church as sinners in the world, and refuse to work on your character until it becomes like Christ. Romans 12, verse 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. 1 John 2 verses 15 to 16. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not from the Father but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. You can see, the world Bible is referring to as not people who are not your members, do not go to church, or do not dress like you, but people with sinful characters. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. You claim you are not of the world. What is your character? Does it truly say so? You fight the truth, cover sins of our mother and siblings, lie, hate, bear false witness, destroy fellow members, join heads together, fight the work of God out of envy, put confusion in the house of God, gather against the good, sow seed of disunity in the house of God, not even outside, gossip, envy one another, then display wickedness everywhere, 
and still turn around and call a person who says, if Christians are like this, I would rather remain the way I am, haters of God and church, or the world. It is you who is the real hater of the church and the enemy of God. You who cause them to speak out of the experience are the real haters of the church and the enemies of God. You are the one who is of the world. Romans 8 verse 13. For if you live according to the flesh you will die, but if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The people of the world are those whose characters display wickedness, envy, hatred, liars, jealousy, haters of good, disunity sowers, and others. Anyone who has those characters is still of the world. Being a member of a particular church doesn't mean you are no longer of the world. It is only when your character reflects that of Christ that you are not of the world. Your character or life vessel is what shows that you are either of the world or not of the world, not the church you attend or your dress code. Forgive me Lord. If you die behaving like the world, you will go to hell. Work on your character. Work on your character. What? Is this a dream? Does it mean that the lady was telling the truth? Forgive me, Lord, and help me to build a character worthy of my faith. Unless our character reflects that of Christ, we are still of the world. It doesn't matter the position we hold in the church, or the church we attend. We are called by God to live for eternity. That means we are not living for this life alone but are preparing for eternity. Having the perspective of eternity allows us to live the kind of life that has eternal benefits. If science 4 verses 1 to 2. As a prisoner of the Lord, then, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Christ never did anything except that which glorified his Father in heaven. Of course, Christ was perfect. He never sinned, and he always did the will of God. We, as Christians, also have the opportunity to live spiritually significant lives. In Christ, we also have the ability to do the will of God. And that is what makes us different and chosen. 1 Peter 2, verse 9. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, so that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. John 15, verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Bearing fruit, the word of God is talking about, is not being a member of a particular church. It means living like Christ, loving all he loves and hating all he hates. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. If science 4, verse 24. Only then will we be called, not of the world, and friends of God. And don't forget, if you love what Christ hates, you are an enemy of Christ, even if you do all the work of God alone. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe, like, and share. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you.